media luna means half moon, so this is a crescent shaped or half moon shaped structure. Okay? And the reason for that is now when this is finished, we're going to capture sediment in this zone here. Okay, so that's, that's going to get pulled. This will pool with sediment and it'll work its way up valley like an alluvial fan. And the water will seep through the cracks in the rock and or pour over the top, but it'll be spread the whole length of the structure rather than being concentrated in the channel like right here. Okay, so then the water spreading over that way will irrigate all the area downstream from it, like that. So, and we'll have the rock mulch effect here. So we'll be having taller grass move into here than we've had before. Okay, this is the channel. The water's flowing down through here and it's going like that. It's getting deeper as we go, right? right? And this place it happens to be flat and we have an opportunity to spread the water. Right. Bigger rock along the downstream edge and then book stack if necessary to get the height we need. So we've, we've got the downstream edge of the Media Luna about complete now. Now we're filling in rocks towards the upstream edge. And uh, we're book stacking them here to get a uniform height. Uh, and this will function by having the water seep in through the cracks in all these rocks and, and leave as dispersed flow all the way across the land surface. We, we built a crescent shaped or semicircular shaped structure. Okay, the way this functions from a geomorphological or physical standpoint is the water ponds, if it's been a heavy rain, behind this structure. We get sediment deposition up there, and the water sits there long enough to seep into the ground. It's ponded by this edge, okay? It, when it leaves this structure, it leaves perpendicular to the edge, okay? It's, it's like if you spill water out of a brim of a, of a coffee cup or coffee, Okay, some water spills here, some water spills here, some water spills here, some water spills here, some spills here, and so forth, all the way around. So all of this gets wetted, okay? That's the reason for having it in a semicircular shape. So we spread the water across the landform that would benefit from it. So this leaves us dispersed flow or a sheet flow. It's not concentrated flow like we had with the rock rundown. That's exact opposite. Okay, so the water's leaving and it's seeping through and it's going through these cracks in the rock or it's pouring over and, it's, and it flows across this surface and wets this whole surface instead of having a channel from there evolve up through here. Okay? So the benefit is from creating dispersed flow and not allowing concentrated uh, flow to, to develop. Got a stack of, of tree branches, eight feet long, let's say, or brush we just cut. You start in the middle and you lay this, the brush down where the cutoff end or the butt up there and the branch tips down here and you lay them side by side three to six inches apart all the way across in both directions and the water start the, those limbs start to collect grass and woody debris with the first storm so they become tighter and more and more like a media luna structure